In very basic terms, we can compare the electric fence energizer to a toilet. There's an inlet pipe bringing water in. This pulls up into the tank, and when it's needed, there's a switch or handle that when activated, lets a rush of water out down the pipe. After which, it then closes the valve, letting the tank fill up again. So over here we have our basic energizer, which is the box. This will receive power from either a DC battery or AC mains supply. Then we have the input circuitry, which converts power into a more suitable form for holding in the main storage capacitor. Like the toilet tank, the capacitor is an electrical reservoir and the energy is built up in here. This goes to the SCR or silicon controlled rectifier, a very fast electrical gate, kind of like the handle of the toilet and it gets its signal from the timing control unit that basically tells it when to open. Finally, the pulse shaping circuitry is a transformer that shapes the energy passing through it so that it travels better down the fence line. So energy will come in from the power source, go through the input circuit and get stored in the main storage capacitor. Then when ready, the timing control sends a regular signal spaced about 1-2 to two seconds apart to the SCR that tells it to open, letting the stored energy rush out, past the pulse shaping circuitry and down the fence at a rate of 150,000 km a second, or roughly half the speed of light. If the fence was just a wire plugged directly into the AC mains, it would have a constant current on it, pulsing all the time. If you hold onto this wire, you're going to get constantly shocked. Your hands might contract and you're unable to let go, thus it's lethal. The electric fence energizer converts the constant energy into a short powerful electric pulse that travels down the fence line. As you can see, the pulse might be stronger than the incoming current, but this is meant to pack a non-lethal electrical punch that will knock an animal or person off the fence. As said, the shock is non-lethal. It is regulated by law how much current the human body can safely take for a very short time and all electric fence energizers have to comply to these regulations. The shock should be powerful enough to stop any person or animal from repeating the process of touching the fence. We hope you found this video helpful. If you would like more information, please visit us on our website.